Pastor Greg Laurie went from being a young hippie from a dysfunctional family in the 1970s to embracing and giving his life to Christ. Laurie found himself among many other young hippies that were doing the same thing. He ultimately decided to follow the teachings of Pastor Chuck Smith and preacher Lonnie Frisbee, who later baptized him. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beautiful. It gives me chills. Uh, now Lori and his story are the brand new subject of a movie that is a hit movie called The Jesus Revolution. Pastor Greg Lori joins us now. Pastor Lori, I, I mean, this is just, it's on Amazon. It's been number one. It's beating Top Gun. It's incredible to watch that baptism scene. What makes it so powerful? I think it's because it's a real story. It wasn't a big budget film like some of these other films like Avatar or Top Gun or whatever. But it's resonating with people because it's a message of hope. And it's a true story of a time in American history when it looked like culture was collapsing and people were just turning away from God and turning away from everything. And many thought that it was perhaps the demise of our country. But people were talking about a sexual revolution. They were talking about a political revolution. And God sent a Jesus revolution. And in fact, it was Time magazine that coined that phrase. And really, in many ways, it was a revolution that changed the directory and trajectory or the trajectory of America. So we have that, that Time magazine cover, Pastor Lori. Um, and this is actually the one from 1973. But there was one before that that, that you told me about. Yeah. Let me know about that Time cover. Yeah, so that this was a time uh, in American history where we removed uh, prayer out of schools. And it's interesting that literally three years later, Time magazine has a cover story with the ominous words reversed out in black and red, is God dead? Then uh, four years after that, the psychedelic image of Jesus and it says Jesus revolution. So it shows how bleak things were, and it shows what happens when a spiritual awakening takes place in America. And Kaylee, I wanna say that Generation Z mm -hmm. is very interested in spiritual things. I just read an article recently where it said that they are very, over 50% are very interested in Jesus, knowing more about Jesus. And this is the key. This was not a religious revolution. It was a Jesus revolution where people were turning to God and having an encounter with him. That's what happened to me. My life was changed. I was going the wrong way fast, but my life was turned around because of a relationship with Jesus Christ, and he's still in the life-changing business. You know, Pastor Lori, I had the tremendous honor of having dinner with you and your beautiful wife, Kathy. And one of the things that stood out to me just about what you've done is you met people where they were. In, in the Jesus Revolution, the church came to the people, washing the feet of the hippies, welcoming their, them in, just yeah. as Jesus would have done. Um, share with us why that's so important at this time, with Gen Z in particular. Well, I think the church has a, an opportunity right now in culture. And, and our job is to bring hope. Mm -hmm. Our job is to bring help. Our job is to bring people to the Lord. That's what I do. I'm an evangelist. We have a big event. We're doing it at Honda Center in Anaheim on July 1 and 2 called the Harvest Crusade. We've been doing it for 30 years. And over the years, I've been able to speak in person to 500,000 people. And we've seen thousands and thousands, 5 million actually, 500,000 making a profession of faith. And we keep reaching to the next young generation because people are searching for answers today in our culture. Pastor Lori, that is so true. And one thing you said to me always stuck with me, you're constantly pointing back to him. And that's what I try to do in my own life. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to have you on.